In this tutorial, we shall be looking at a simple past question that came some time ago. Before we proceed, if you know the year this particular set of questions came, please leave it in the comment section. I would very much appreciate it. We are simply going to look at the first question, which is number one. Now, let's, let us not waste much time, but rather delve to what the question is all about. Edison added two decimal fractions and obtained the answer as shown. So 0 0.3 plus 0 0.27 is equal to 0 0.30. I. What concept did he feel to apply in his solution? I. I. Explain how he should have added 0 0.3 plus 0 0.27 correctly. Now let's look at the solution to this problem. Now, if you look at Edison's solution, there is something wrong with it. Can you take some time to actually identify what is wrong with his solution? Now, if you look carefully, Edison failed to apply the concept of adding digits of numbers according to their place values. Of course, you've all heard of the place value chart, as you can see on the screen. The best and simplest way you can ever add numbers or decimal fractions is to consider them from place to place or add them according to their place values. Now, let's proceed further. Now, consider the number 12.345. We are just going to look at how the place value chart can be used to represent numbers like this or how we can represent this number here on the place value chart. So we have the diagram on your screen. Okay. So now the first number you see here, one is supposed to go to the tenth place because this, this is the whole number part. 12 is the whole number part. And this number in expanded form simply means one ten, then two ones. In other words, the one goes to the tens place and of course the two here goes to where the ones place we can simply introduce our decimal point and then from there the rest of the number simply represents a fraction part all right so the first number you see here represents three out of tens in other words if you have ten parts then you bring then you take three out of it that represents what three tenths so the number three here the number 3 here simply goes to the tenths place. Then the number 4 simply represents 4 out of a hundred. Alright, so 4 hundredths. So the number here 4 simply goes to this particular place. And of course the last digit which is 5 represents 5 out of a thousand. In other words, 5 thousands. So placing it there, you can see that the number is well represented on the place value chart. If Edison knew how to represent the various numbers on the place value chart, as you can see on the screen, arriving at the right answer would have been a very sure thing. Now let's tackle the number 2, or the II. Explain how he should have added 0 0.3 plus 0 0.27 correctly. Now, he should have added the digits of the numbers according to the place values of the digits using the place value chart as a guide. So let's introduce our place value chart again. All right. And then for the number 03, you, you get to realize that the number 0 represents the whole number part. And that simply represents 0 once. So introducing the 0 there. All right. We can then proceed to bringing our decimal point. Then the number here 3 represents 3 out of 10. In other words, 3 tenths. So we simply also put that one to down here. Now, for the column or for the set of cells down there, we use them to also represent the second number. All right. So here again, the zero simply stands for ones. So we, intro we simply introduce it there. Then we we'll simply introduce the decimal point. After that, the number here two represents two out of a ten. In other words, two tenths. So also representing it down here, according to the place you, you can see at the top here, that's the, under the tens column. We can then proceed further and also represent the seven at what the hundredth column, as you can see on the screen. Since that place 
or the number here seven represents seven out of a hundred now let's proceed further to adding okay now to make our addition easier edison could have simply introduced zero at this place here okay after the three for the first number you could have simply introduced a zero and now adding you are simply going to have here zero plus seven that what will you have you have seven then three plus two that will give you what five then you introduce your point all right introduce your point and then of course zero plus zero would have just given you zero okay so we can simply conclude that 0 0.3 plus 0 0.27 is simply equal to 0 0.57 this is how edison graph simply done it all right so when asked to do this you can simply state the point that he should have added the digits of the numbers according to the place values of the digits using the place value chart as a guide then you could have also gone further then you draw the place value chart and of course write the numbers down here and show the calculations as you can see on the screen this is how these particular types of questions are supposed to be answered okay you don't just speak in words if there are illustrations you can give use the illustrations remember it is teachers licensure examination it is not some class test or examination on the paper you are supposed to show the examiners how you could have easily aided a student to also undergo this same procedure in a manner that is quite good and of course appreciative to the student which can easily bring about understanding all right thank you for your time and make sure you subscribe you like and you share my content all right so the next time i'm presenting the video we shall look at the number one b which you can see down here all right this particular question we'll, we'll be looking at that one next so to catch a glimpse of it make sure you hit on the subscribe button click on the notification bell like and of course share the content on our channels so that by the grace of god we, we can reach as many students as possible all right it is not a good idea at all to go and write and fail numeracy so let's take our learning serious and of course hoping and prayerfully god will take us to the promised land thank you for your time goodbye